Hello everyone, thank you for stopping by this video. Go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe for more. Before we get into this video, I would just like to say this is gonna be three steps to overcoming fear and anxiety in nursing school. I'm just gonna try to condense these into like a little small nugget, and maybe I will elaborate on points in a further video if that's something you all are interested in. And so with that being said, let's get right into the video. First of all, I'd just like to say in nursing school, fear and anxiety levels are on high. And that can be partly due to, I mean, this is such a new experience for everyone entering into it. It's just tense with grades. You have a lot of work, there's a lot of pressure. I mean, in this field of nursing, you are literally dealing with people's lives. So, of course, learning about it and getting to know everything before you know anything, your fear and anxiety levels can just be really, really high. Each day, I mean, you can be walking on eggshells. You can literally be one test away from not passing a class, and that kinda is how it is, because you have to pass everything to um to to pass the class essentially i just want to tell you that you will get through it i mean there have been so many other people that have been in your same shoes and they got through it so i just want to let you know that you will get through it too it's just a matter of having the right mindset i truly believe in self-fulfilling prophecies and what a self-fulfilling prophecy means is that if you believe positively if you believe positive things will happen then you're setting yourself up for positivity and positive things to happen to you but on the flip side of that is if you believe in negative things and negatively then you're setting yourself up for negative things to happen now i'm not saying that if you don't study for that test and you walk in there and think i got this i'm gonna ace this I got this in the bag that you're going to pass that test because you didn't study for the test. But I am saying that if you put in your hard work and your effort and you walk into that test with that A level mindset, you have a better chance of getting that A. But if you walk into that test that you've studied hard for with the mindset of, oh, I'm not going to pass this test, then you're setting yourself up for failure. So I want to say for my first tip is that you have to have faith in the midst of fear. So when you're feeling down, when you feel like you can't make it, when you feel like you've done all you could do and it's still not enough, you have to have faith that what you've already done is enough. That it is enough for you to take it to the next level, that it is enough for you to pass that test, that it is enough for you to be able to go into that patient's room and assess them head to toe fully and accurately. And that what your knowledge is, is enough to essentially take care of your patients to the best of your abilities. And number two, I would say is to meditate, to pray, just to find a way to release the negativity, the stressors, just anything that's pressing down on you that you feels like it's a weight on your shoulders. You just have to find a way to release all of that into the atmosphere. Just get it off of you because you don't need negativity during this time. And the third point I would say is don't overstudy. Don't overdo it because if you overdo things, you just make things worse for yourself. Yes, you have to study a lot. Yes, you have to work really hard. Yes, you have to know what you need to know. But there is a point where you can come to where you can be overdoing it. And when you do too much, sometimes we think we're doing what we need to be doing, but when we overdo it, then we just find ourselves overthinking things and doing too much and then that can be negative as well so i really hope that you all enjoyed this video and if you did go ahead and comment below the things you liked about it and comment below any other video ideas that you might have that you might um want me to elaborate on next thank you bye